So we're going to be talking about titrations. A titration is an analytical method in which a standard solution is used to determine the concentration of another solution. So you're going to have an acid and a base, one you know the concentration of and one you don't. The standard solution is the solution in which the concentration is known. An indicator is added to the solution of the unknown concentration. In the standard solution is usually added through a burette slowly until you have a color change. The color change indicates the end point, the point in a titration in which there is a color change. The equivalence point is the point in the titration at which neutralization is achieved. Remember that neutralization is when an acid and a base react to produce salt and water. You want the equivalence point and end point to be as close to each other as possible. So to figure out what the molarity of your unknown con substance is, you can use this equation. The molarity of the unknown solution can be calculated from the molarity of the standard solution and the volume used. This is basically the dilution equation. You have IA, MA, VA equals IB, VB, MB. IA being the number of hydrogen ions that the acid produces. If you had phosphoric acid, it would have an IA of 3 because there's 3 hydrogen ions that that would produce. If you had oxalic acid, it would have an IA of 2. And if you had acetic acid, it would have an IA of 1 because only that first hydrogen is going to come off. IB is the number of hydroxide ions the base produces. So iron 3 hydroxide would have an IB of 3, while magnesium hydroxide would have an IB of 2, and sodium hydroxide would have an IB of 1. VA is the volume of acid. It can be in milliliters or liters, while VB is the volume of base. They need to be in the same unit, whether it be milliliters or liters. And M1, or MA is molarity of the acid, while MB is the molarity of the base. So here we have VB, MB, and sodium hydroxide has a IB of 1. Our volume of acid Acetic acid has a IA of 1, and we're looking for the molarity of the acid. So plugging my values into the equation above, making sure to keep all acid information on one side and all base information on the other side. Dividing by 1 times 25 by both sides. Notice my milliliter units will cancel out, and I'm going to be left with molarity, which is what I'm trying to find. The molarity of my acid must be 0.3 molarity. So let's look at one more together. On this one, we are looking for the milliliters or the VB. We know the molarity of the base, and this time, calcium hydroxide has an IB of 2. We have our volume of our acid, molarity of the acid, and HCl is going to give off one hydrogen. So using my titration equation, And plug in all my acid information. And all my base information. Dividing both sides by 2 times 0 0.0947, I get my volume to be 11.98 milliliters. 
going to pause the video and try the last one on your own. So on this one, we had to find our concentration of base. We knew our volume of base. We gave off three hydroxide ions. We knew our volume of our acid, molarity of the acid, and our acid gives off two hydrogen ions. So plugging it in, dividing both sides by 3 times 26.4, you get 0.274 molarity.